was 14th of September 2010. I remember the date really well. Um, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes um, and soon after that celiac disease and before that I had never been in a hospital setting before. I had never gotten sick. I was a really healthy child so at 10 that was just such a massive thing to happen and I had no idea what diabetes was as well. Um, so I ended up staying a week in hospital and then having to completely, like everything changed. My new reality was really quite sad um, because I had to just get used to something that I didn't know anything about up to a week prior. I was checking blood sugars 10 times a day. You know, I was taking injections five times a day all by myself. Um, and I find that really difficult because I felt like I had to put on a brave face, but I felt really sick all the time. Um, and because my diabetes was so hard to control, I didn't get to go to school a lot. So I spent a lot of the first year of diagnosis on the couch watching TV. <laughs> I don't really recall the year that well. Um, I just remember not feeling good ever, really. It was obvious that I needed to transition to insulin pump um, services, but I couldn't do that within my own county. It took a lot of time every time I had to go to a hospital appointment, which was every three to six months. Um, so, and obviously at the whole time, I'm trying to adapt to a whole new chronic illness um, and a whole new life. So it was really disruptive and meant I had to take even more time off school. Going through the process of getting an insulin pump is quite difficult um, in Ireland where I'm from. It took a lot of time and energy um, and I missed a lot of school, a lot of birthday parties, activities I just didn't get to go to um, because I had to prioritise my diabetes care. If my local hospital would have had pump services, it really would have been the dream. Um, I really loved my local clinic team um, and I really appreciated the care they gave me. So it would have been fantastic to be able to have those pump services on my door. Once I was able to get an insulin pump and use it for managing my diabetes care, my life really improved. Um, I now study in a university and there's just no way I would be able to manage that lifestyle without an insulin pump. For us, diabetes is a marker of resilience of healthcare systems, meaning that if health systems are equipped to prevent and reduce the risk of diabetes and also to better manage the condition, this will de facto improve the care for other non-communicable diseases. But this requires a paradigm shift from acute care models into chronic care models that place the person at the centre. So this also entails strengthening primary and proximity care services. And as you have heard from Shifra, access to appropriate care can still be very difficult and very unequal across Europe. I would really like to see that pump services and other healthcare services be broadened into more rural areas so that others don't have to travel across the country like I did and face the same difficulties in the future. <laughs>